okay let's begin so before uh, starting with today's uh, discussion i'll uh, I wish to clarify something uh, that i made a mistake in the last class so uh, when we are looking at the yeah noise for the uh, telescopic cascode and especially the noise for uh, this transistor uh, i made a mistake in the explanation let me clarify it the end result is still the same but uh, i think i made some mistakes in the explanation let me just copy paste it and do it once i mean the bottom end mos i'll not draw because i'll ignore all or not so they are basically open circuits so there is this okay so this is the noise current in3 for corresponding to the transistor m3 and basically we are interested in finding the short circuit current due to that and uh, i mentioned that this current in3 oops sorry yeah flows down instead of flowing up because the impedance looking up is or not but that's actually incorrect you should be really careful so uh, it's not straight forward so what we'll do we'll try to calculate it uh, from scratch okay so we'll assume that this voltage is some vg3 say this is some vx so we'll apply ksl and uh, solve it okay so so let's do it if i apply ksl at this node x what are the currents i have current entering is in3 and we have two currents leaving one is the drain to source current of m3 that is gm vgs of that uh, transistor so that is basically gm times vg3 and we also have the current flowing in m7 and the current flowing from source to drain is minus gm vgs so it's minus gm7 times vgs7 and what is vgs7 remember that the uh, this is this is all bias voltage this incrementally ground so what is vgs7 here it's minus vx okay uh, this is one and uh, of course now we need to find what is vx for that we can apply ksl at this node so if you apply ksl at this node what do you get what are the currents leaving that node we just have this current right that's it there's no other current okay and what is that current it's basically gm7 vx zero that's okay so this simply gives vx to be zero okay so the point is this uh, potential if you ignore all the r nots of the transistors that is zero so the looking in impedance is actually zero so it is not uh, i mean you can't say you know what is the current going up and what is the current going down as such and now once we know this we can directly find everything else so if i put vx to be zero here what do i get vg3 is in3 by gm3 okay so this is in3 by gm3 so this also in3 by gm3 so what will be the incremental current here it's basically gm minus gm vgs source to drain so we'll have minus in3 okay so i mean finally the current is in minus in3 but the mechanism it takes to come here is not as straight forward as i explained should have been very careful apologies for that 